Hey guys, um, I want to show you how to um, install Ubuntu using Wubi in this video. Um, Wubi is very good because if you have Windows, um, you could you don't have to partition your hard drive to install Ubuntu. Um, advantages of that are as many. Um, first, you don't have to mess around with all that partitioning, um, and it is a full-blown copy, so you know you will get the full experience out of it. So, um, okay, so let's start. So first you will go to Firefox. Um, go to Ubuntu.com. Click on Get Ubuntu Now. Click Run It with Windows. And start the download. Save it. Once this downloads, um, you know, you will have this in whatever. So if you're using Firefox, it will be in your downloads folder. You could right click this and click open containing folder or just click open. Um, I have it I have it out here, so I could just double click this. Okay, so this is this is what you're gonna see first. Um, the installation size. Um, it's up to you what you want. It shows you up here how much is free. This is what it will take it out of. I would suggest going for the max if you're really gonna be using it for a long time because it's it gets tricky on how to um, you know it's uh, and how to increase this the size of your disk once it's already done. So I usually just select the highest 30 gigabytes. You know, it's not much out of 537. Put in a password. This password can be changed later. So and click install. This is if your firewall or anything gives you any. Um, checks now so this is going to take some time it's actually downloading this is about a 700 MB file so it's downloading Ubuntu um, once it finishes downloading it, it takes anywhere you know about 45 minutes to hour and a half depending on your internet connection um, but once it finished downloading it will just install nothing more you have to do once it's finishing once it finished it's, it will ask you to reboot uh, once you reboot at the boot screen, it's going to ask you, do you want to go to Windows or Ubuntu? Um, it sh in fact, it should ask you that. Um, and if it doesn't, then there was some problem with the installation. Uh, and you might want to do it again. Um, so, but, you know, usually it works. Usually there are no problems. Um, so, once this finished downloading, you will allow you reboot. At the boot screen, you select Ubuntu. And it will start up into a full blown Ubuntu. It will run through its initial configuration and all that. So, you know, that's then that's it. You have your uh, Ubuntu fully set up. It's, some people do have problems with the drivers and stuff like that. Um, you know, a solution to that, I will, I will tell you. Um, I want to I discuss something else before this. Um, sometimes when you download, this takes an hour, hour and a half. Um, let's say it fails in the middle you're screwed. Um, you have to start over again. So there is another way of doing this. Um, so if I would hit cancel. Um, so another way of doing this would be, okay, so go back to um, Wubi and, and in your on your page click on alternative downloads. So in here you'll see um, this you will see the torrent files. So you you want to download um, this the 64 AMD 64 uh, 11.10 desktop. Mm. Now, some of you who is not familiar with the torrents, you could go to um, you torrent .com. And then click this free torrent. It will download it, open it up. It's a very lightweight, and uh, it's it will it will take literally seconds to set it up. Um, at least it did for me. So once you set this up, um, just just click on the link. It will tell you here. Open with your torrent. Click OK, and um, you know it will bring you here. This I've already downloaded it, so it's but as you see, it's 697 MB. Um, so it will download once it finished downloading. You right click and click open containing folder, 
and it will show you where it is. So once this is done, what you want to do is um, you want to create a folder somewhere like this and put that file and Wubi in one. So what that will do is, well, that will it, it will make sure that Wubi doesn't download it. As soon as Wubi runs, it will detect that there is a copy of what it needs right here. Um, now, before that happens, since I've already done this, um, I tried to do download this before it installed. It made the hard drive partition my C drive. So to uninstall, it's as simple as double clicking Ruby and clicking are you sure you want to uninstall, uninstall, and that's it. Your Ubuntu is now uninstalled. This is this is one of the beauty of um, Ruby. Um, so now if I want to install it again, um, I go here, the same process again. Um, and so I click install. Now if you notice this time, um, it won't download whole thing. So it's checking installation files and then it's running. This is installing it. This is what is supposed to happen after we finish downloading when we did it first. But since this is here, it, it saw that you know um, the copy already exists, so it's not going to download the same thing again. So this this does this. Um, it's creating the disk. Once this is done, it's going to ask you to reboot. And so you just click reboot, boot into Ubuntu like I told you before. And that's about it. Now the problem I was talking about before about people having problems with drivers for internet, um, like wireless internet and stuff like that. There is another solution if the Wubi really does not work out for you. Um, you could try searching um, on Google and see if there are other drivers available for you. But if it really doesn't work out, you could use something called a virtual machine. I will create another video. The next video I will show you um, how to use virtual machines to um, have a full-blown installation of Wubi. It won't be as powerful but it will still be an installation of Ubuntu and you will be able to do everything you want to do on the Linux machine. It, it, it's a good way to try it out if you want to do that. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video if this doesn't work out for you.